Welcome back guys. So we are going to reach the market and get the gallows, the first target. Which is that way. It's obviously another side quest down there. <laughs> it keeps threatening to piss in his duck pond, which is hilarious and slightly gross. Don't give me Alfred's jewel, I will. Right, let's... I'm going to leave the side quests. If any of them I don't know, are worth doing, then I'll put them in the videos. But so far I haven't bothered. <laughs> because I just think it would make everything too long. I mean, we're already... At, we're probably going to surpass 100 videos. It wouldn't surprise me to get to the end. Um, why won't you jump? There we go. But I have also left out all of the little side mysteries, which, you know, God knows how long that would make every video. Um, I wonder if they're down there about... To, oh, is that the husband and wife that were going to innocently be <laughs> murdered? Winchester, open your eyes. See how Alfred's lofty ideals are weighed down in this mire of human effluence. These prisoners before you do not live by Alfred's laws. They live above them. They wallow in shit, only guided by their own perversity. Hubert here, his wits addled by ale, spoke false of Bishop Aylfer. Our pious servant of Winchester, who even now lies cold in his grave shroud. Aelfoth was no man of God. He'll burn for his sins. <laughs> Your wife is obeying shrew, Hubert. Is there a man here who has not supped rancid mead from her cup? When will your work be done, Selwyn? When all of Winchester falls to your justice? Winchester has passed judgment, Hubert. May God have mercy on your cankerous soul. Oh no, don't we get to save him? Well, I don't feel much of a hero. Freedom in Winchester. Mm. None are safe from his blade. Right. To determine the fate of the perverse, if not the wonder if they'll let me assassinate him. From up high then. You have been found guilty of harlotry and defamation. May God have mercy on your Got him. They're not really hurting me, so it's a bit like flies. Who else? Oh, that was close. Anyone else? Oh, you. That's fine. <laughs> no. 
Nice. <laughs> Let's get away from her because I'll likely kill her. of justice who dares execute the king's noose it is not in alfred's name that you carry out your work you are the order's executioner <laughs> you peer through the veil but you do not see clearly alfred's laws are a slave's fever dream he offers shit soaked beggars a seat at his table where the meek devour the strong. Who best to judge the fate of the wretched many, if not the strong and worthy few? To protect your people, you must sheathe your hand in an iron glove. You grind your heels into the backs of freed men, not those who deserve it. The Order condemns all men to pain. For all men are but a shadow of the perfection we should know. The perfection of the Ancient Ones. You are only a man, Reed. One dead branch on a fast-dying tree. I should meet with Goodwin. That was a cool one. Found on the quill. That was very cool. That cutscene. All right. Uh. Yeah, we got him. That's all good. I'm not going to throw a weapon. You know what's going to happen. I'm going to kill a civilian and get told off. Um. Find and speak to Goodwin. <laughs> Can we speak to her as well? Bloodlust will doom us all. His lies poisoned everyone against us, and for what? Some only care for their own power and position. I am sorry I could not save your husband. My son is not an orphan today. You did more than enough. I disagree, but the game said otherwise. Sorry, love. Right. Map. Oh, okay. Well, at least we got the fast travel point. Off we go. I suppose it wouldn't have made for good entertainment had we saved both of them. Bit harsh. The Nun's Minster. Uh, Nun Minster, isn't that a place? Oh, I'm doing it again. Where's the stupid... There it is. <laughs> Peekaboo! Is he inside? Yeah. I wonder if he's talking to Alfred. A cheerful heart is good medicine. But a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Does Magister Batter not teach you the scriptures? Magister batter as a horse's dangles. <laughs> <laughs> and here is the axe I used to swat a fly. You have ventured from your burrow. And you have plunged my city into chaos. I had hoped you would use the lessons of your subtler gods. We have no subtle gods. If the gallows is truly dead, perhaps we can allow cautious revelry? I did only what you asked. Do this yourself, then. I will take my reward and go. <laughs> oh. Um. I could do do this yourself, then. But, uh, you know, we'll go with one. I did only what I agreed to, Alfred. If your crown now weighs heavy, I would gladly take it from you. Forgive my outburst. God sowed in me a passion 
but English prose is an instrument long out of tune. We all want better for our people, don't we, Eivor? Yours and ours. The quill remains. What do we know? The decay of learning has been gentle in Wessex. We enjoy the office of wise men, but we have neglected the study of wisdom. The quill preys on this lapse. Someone disagrees with your reforms, Alfred, and he's calling the children to arms. Now we know why so many children scurry through the streets, feral and untutored. I can talk to some, see where they lead me. Good. Find me at the alehouse when you're done. And try not to scare the piss from any of them. We Norse are the monsters of your sex and mother's bedtime tales. I promise nothing. I see you, child. Come. The bad Reeve. Selwyn. I saw you punish him in the square. He hurt many people. Yes. He hurt my mother to death. Then took her good luck charm. Perhaps you found it? A little carved tree. It is all I have to remember her by. Let's give her some money. Such a sad story. Take this. Perhaps it'll keep you off the streets and out of trouble. For me? Oh, thank you. Spry little mouse, will you lead me to your quill? Heaven will swallow the smoke of Aelfa's pyre. I did wonder if she was going to steal that charm from us. Because she spoke exactly of the medallion that may be the quill. Um... Question the children. Stop struggling and give back that apple. Apple? I didn't scrabble nothing. Get your fat hands off me, Cowbrain. You look. Oh. I didn't need think I needed to kill him. I didn't want to hurt the child, so I didn't do anything. Stealing apples, eh? Fruit don't feed a grown boy. Do you have any chicken? I don't, but maybe you can tell me what you know of the quill. The quill? God blimey, you're brave. Find Alwyn and Wigbert. They see everything. Alwyn and Wigbert. What is that boy doing all the way up there? Jump, little flea. Jump, flea. Jump. Ah. Stop it, you rub kid. Now, this was a quest we passed. I'm glad we didn't do it. Feels like it's going to lead to something. I will show her I love her, or die trying. What are you doing all the way up here? Don't try and stop me. I will get that flower, and then she'll see how much I love her. A brave choice, little fellow. Even if I get smashed on the ground like an an overripe plum, I'm just getting my breath back. The climb was hard. I'm girding my, uh, uh, loins. Loins, eh? Or I could get it for you. I would hate to see such a ferocious flame snuffed out. I mean, if you insist. But I could get it if I wanted to. Just so you know. Where is this flower, then? Uh... That's not helpful. I'm assuming we have to go up here. Oh, is it on the branch? And we just have to jump down. Whoops. Too busy looking. No, why can't I do this? What am I supposed to do? Can I climb it? Oh, could you just done that? Fair enough. Where is the flower? Done it yourself. 
risk life and limb. But great men know the value of a champion. What will you do with such a treasure? It's for her. It's all for her. So she'll finally notice me. Athelflaed, what do you say to the sweet boy? Thank you for the flower. It is very beautiful. Now we are betrothed. <laughs> and I will grow up to be a great king. And you will be my fair lady. What say you, daughter? Do you think him a worthy suitor? He risked so much to declare his love. I will tell my husband the king you claim our daughter's hand. When you are a little older, of course. Come, dearest. Oh, and Ramio and Athelfredo. It's more than that. There's holding hands and grunting. That was cute. And then sometimes praying. Except for the fact oh that God, I can't jump oh for shit God. and then discover that I could have just climbed the tree. But never mind. Uh, question the children. Which children can I speak to? One's down here. Can't speak to any of them. Oh, over there. There's one or two. God's beard! You'll set Winchester ablaze. Roly poly mutton man, you can't catch me. Oh, God help me! I'd rather be shoveling dung in Malvern again. <laughs> I didn't speak to the girl. Okay. To be fair, they are, they have a point, you know. Don't set massive bonfires alight in a city that's mostly made of wood. Mm. Oh, great. Go, soon. Okay. There she is. One way. You again? You should mind your own beeswax. Elwyn, is it? You wield fire like the flaming Jotnar. It, it was burning when I found it. Hot days like this, things just go whoosh. Well. <laughs> Oi, Wigbert, you great moon calf. Hand it over, Alwyn. We saw your little shadow take it. What are you looking at? <laughs> Something hot ugly. <laughs> Let's go with charisma. Turn around, walk away, and you keep your insides inside. All right, all right. No harm meant. Stay out of trouble, you grub mite. Trouble seems to follow you. And I wriggle out of it like a slippery eel. Why are you following me? Um. Should we go with I'm looking for the quill? I'm looking for the quill. So I'm asking you, this little worker beast. Us? Working for the quill? Shows what you know. Is that so? Those were the quill's meat mops. And you sent them scurrying off with their tails between their legs. It sounds like you owe me your life. This one's brave and strong. Might be able to help us. So you're not working for the Quill? We steal to stay alive and out of the Quill's clutches. But you know where I can find him. They come up from the sewers like rats. Go on, give her what you took. Maybe she can save us. Good luck, Dane. Try not to get maimed and all that. <laughs> right. So we got Hilda. 
Shows what I know. I thought that was a guy's hairdo. The church is no place for women of intelligence. So, we've got them. Or her, at least. Good. We're getting through this quite well. Ooh, more clues. Hmm. Right, guys. I'm going to leave the video there. And we'll pick it up uh, for the next part of the quest, which is plucking the quill. Stay safe, stay amazing. <laughs>